best right, songs to the cast he's ever heard on Saturday night. <laughs> They're out. We gave them catnip, and this is the result after they freaked out. It's like us having a big drinks after a big dinner. <laughs> <laughs> they got high and then crashed. Yeah. Anyway, John and I are just watching reaction videos and how they Music go reaction. Yeah, that's true. Music, yeah. not just it's reaction videos. It's a lot of fun. What? Cindy was saying we're watching music reaction videos and we love them because we're watching people that are listening to songs for the very first time mm -hmm. that we grew up on and we know yeah. are life changing and wonderful <laughs> and to see others appreciate and enjoy it for the first time is really satisfying. It's like sharing with them. Yeah, you know? we thought about doing our Cindy, own. you look great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't thought, look so bad either. I've lost hey, I've lost 19 pounds. Cindy's lost 19 pounds. <laughs> I've lost 18. I'm going to catch up to you tomorrow. Probably will. Yeah. Um, but John and I thought about doing our own reaction channel. Yeah. And we were going to call it something like Sin John Sin K or something. Yeah, we we're going to combine our names. And I thought the format would be good because Cindy's more of a, um, she grew up in LA area. I grew up in Chicago and I'm, I listened to radio stations that had deep cuts, you know, um, album tracks. And Cindy listened to a lot of, you know, pop. And I thought it would be fun to, for her to react to my choices of songs mm -hmm. and for me to react to stuff that I may not be familiar with. And so it's something we've tossed around and we may do. So I know. We stay need tuned. to do that. Well, it's not just that, but I also had a friend who hooked me up with bands that were not in the mainstream. They had a lot mm -hmm. of fans. Right, who right, right, them, right. But, like, you know, you name some of yeah. their names and people are like, who's that? Cindy, you look so good. <laughs> you look so adorable. You look cute, too. Thank and you. And so, mm -hmm. anyway, I wanted to play... My friend's name is Amy. I'm gonna play you my Amy bands. Okay. Who you don't know, so yeah, we need that. To so it. all of that would be really fun because we're gonna hit each other up with unknown music, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's a different format that we've seen than we've seen yeah. on music reaction videos, and uh, it's gonna be fun. So stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Okay. you guys saw well i guess you did see <laughs> my car full of stuff oh my gosh you know i i'm at that low cost store that's like two blocks from my house and again amazing amazing finds a lot of free stuff i'm just so absolutely over the moon my total is 5141 and oh my gosh this stuff would have been double or triple that at, well, retail or maybe at a Goodwill because they always mark things up. Not always, but a lot of times. So let me show you, just give you a glimpse here. Everything's like in boxes, but I'll show you a better look a little later. All right. So these, you guys, I'd never heard of this brand. Diodoro. Oh my gosh. $50, $100 they're selling for their cleats. three bucks I mean these things were worth a lot 
Inesco horses, carousel horses. It's musical. Um, this, I mean, this is just tip of the iceberg. I have so much stuff. I got some calendars because I needed some. And look at this whole box full of stationery free. Wow. I am so blessed and thankful to live here. Hi guys. This is Cindy Krauss with Krauss House Sift and Thrift. If you're new to my channel, I am a reseller on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. And my goal is to help other resellers out there to inspire you, to let you know what you could buy for the most profit, what are the bolos, be on the lookout for, and you know, show you what I buy to sell on those platforms. And I also show you what's sold. So I'm hoping this will help you guys. I'm hoping you're out there making big, big money, even though the summer slowdown is in effect. Um, I know it's kind of slowed down for me a little bit on eBay, but actually it's not bad. I'm still getting sales because I am consistent. And that is the key to be consistent. Hey, say hi. Hi, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> he just came in to deliver me a package. Although uh, you're probably cut off there. Hey, are you there. filming? Yes, I am. I'm not quite, uh, I didn't get my makeup done. <laughs> I didn't know we were doing a program today. <laughs> program. <laughs> a video, yes. Yeah. Um, I had to show them what I got for a oh, right. store, especially she the wedding She did it again. Ones. Cindy's amazing. <laughs> we have the best thrift store in this town because they have a whole section that's free. And, I mean, how many thrift stores have a free section? <laughs> Not many. And we've really cleaned up on that. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. And then... They have, is, it, is that the same store that has 25 cent clothes? Well, no, it is not. Okay. But they had 25 cents two weeks ago uh, okay. on their But sale. the other store in our town yeah. has 25 cent clothes. Hi, like an entire rack of clothes for a quarter. It's just unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, Hi. come to Buell. You, you'd like it. He's not sure what I wanted to show you what I got, like John said, at my local thrift store. So this was an amazing find. If you guys don't know, that Seagate backup uh, drives are uh, amazing sellers on eBay. I looked this one quickly up at the store. Uh, there was one that sold for a hundred. I think it had more to it. I'm not sure, but um, I think there were between fifty and a hundred bucks. So this is an amazing sale, um, or will be. I'm sure it'll sell quickly. Uh, this was only five bucks at that thrift store. And I just got this because it was really cute. Crab, have a crabulicious day. So this was like half off, uh, 50 cents. This I'm gonna sell on eBay. Oh, it needs to be cleaned. So this was half off as well. I believe this was $2. As you can see the rooster. Rooster um, items are very collectible. It's like a mini teapot. And that's why I got it because it won't be too hard to ship this. It's kind of small. And I could just um, bubble wrap the lid and the bottom and put it in a medium sized box and I'll be good to go. This is a portable for travel iron. Uh, the bag's kind of got little stains, but it's Osro Touch Up In Go. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty yellowed from over time. But it's got the uh, cord and it's got the original instructions. So I was able to look up the year and it's from 1979. And it's also got the, which I believe is the water tank that you fill it up with up through here. So yeah, they, there was a few listed. Um, I don't know if it is sold, but I know it's vintage and it's useful, so it will sell. This was just kind of cute. I think this was like. five cents or something it's just uh, a little decorative kitchen paddle it's got the holes so you can hang it on the wall 
And the reason why I got it is this is surely, I think May or my 1980. So yeah, it's, it's definitely vintage. <laughs> um, this is just a free item and it's just one wooden vintage sconce. Uh, normally I would pick this up because it's better to have two than one, but Um, you know, uh, I think I'm still sell just because there's one because maybe somebody has one of these and they need a second or a third one. So I think I got to keep this. Uh, it's a Butterbell and it's without the lid. I don't know if you guys have seen Butterbell Crocs, but uh, they, they come in various sizes and colors and uh, styles. This is a cow and uh, that they come with a lid. And what they're meant to do is keep your butter cool and you could just leave it on the counter. I think you put like water in here with your butter and you put the lid on and it's supposed to, like I said, keep your butter cool. Like right now we have our butter on the counter and it's like melting because it's hot because <laughs> it's summer. But I think I will keep that. All right, this was awesome. Great. Grab these guys. Um, I'll just take one out for you. So I recognize these right away. I know all about Tupperware. These are dessert dishes. And I think there's like six or seven of them. And um, very vintage. You got the pretty pastel colors. And so you could put like ice cream or whatever dessert in here. And I, I caught these out 20 and up. So that I knew that was going to be a good find. I think I paid three dollars for that. So this was also half off. So I think it was like two dollars. And what it is, it's a vintage piece of box. And I'll just play a little bit for you. Oh, it sounds like wind beneath my wings. I think that's what it is. But it's a really pretty picture here, I think. Yeah, you could open this up and put your own picture in the front. So you could put a photograph or whatever you want. So uh, I think it was a dollar. This is, um, I feel like it should be on that show. Have you guys ever seen it? It was like, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's uh, a few years ago, maybe in the 80s or 90s, and you had to guess what an object was. <laughs> My guess was that this was a tissue box holder, but it is kind of an odd size. So then I thought, well, maybe it's for guest towels. You know, um, John thought it was for what do you thought it was for now I think about it but um I guess you could use it for a lot of things paper I don't know but uh I'll see what I find when I list on eBay these I grabbed right away I knew this was to be a good one and I believe uh three dollars yeah I got these for three bucks Looked them up on eBay. There was a few listed, but none had sold. And I just started selling on Amazon. So, uh, 70 bucks on Amazon. There's only like two listed. So I believe that's what I'll be doing with this. Sending that in for FBA. Still waiting for my first two shipments to get processed. Sent them in last week. It takes a while, you know, they've got to process everything. So once those are all processed, I will have some things in my store and hopefully start getting sales. This is a small desert terrarium cling. Um, couldn't find any on eBay, uh, but you know what? It's sealed in a package and it's something useful and it's pretty and I'm sure this will sell. For what? I don't know yet. I got this just, I think I might keep this. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, um, the book of Ruth in the Bible, but it's a really beautiful story. And I just thought this would be neat. Um, I think I can either give it to my mom, my sister, or I'll keep it. I don't know. That was $2 there. 
I was looking at some books for FBA, but you know, they had so many and I looked up a few and of course they were all just like, there's tons of them on Amazon. And I won't take, I won't send anything in to their warehouse unless it's worth five bucks or more. So this um, vintage, Hallmark Vintage now. I don't know if you guys know this, but vintage napkins, uh, especially co um, cocktail napkins or regular napkins, definitely sell on eBay. Uh, I believe 15 and up. These were a dollar originally. And normally I would black out the price, but in this case, um, I leave it because obviously I'm not going to sell this for a dollar. And it's vintage. So vintage price tags, I just leave on there. It doesn't deter the, the buyer. Of course, they know I'm not going to list it for what it says because it is vintage. So I had 10, 15 bucks on those, not sure. Okay, so the woman who worked at that thrift store, I believe it's all volunteer, so nice, her name was Debbie. And when I told her I was buying things to sell on eBay, she started looking for me for things. She goes, we have a phone. <laughs> and um, it's only a dollar. It was a Con Air phone, a slimline. It's the push button kind. I haven't had huge success with these. Um, I think I might still have one in my inventory, but you know, uh, 15 and up. We'll see. Okay, so I'm making my way to this. And the reason why she, uh, Debbie, in the first store, knew I might want another phone is because I got this one. And guess how much this was? Zero. Yes, it was free. Yeah. So blessed. Um, they had like three of these a few weeks ago and they, I think they had like 20 bucks on them and I, I always saw them and I thought, oh, no way am I paying 20 bucks. But I would have grabbed them if they were cheaper at that time but I'm glad I waited because this was free so um, they have it all you know bubble wrapped but I mean um, you know, sealed up and but this is an office phone and I've done very well selling office phones on eBay and Amazon so I was thrilled to get that this was very cool okay so this was free and I'm like, oh, a cake topper, and it's Wilton. And Wilton, I don't know if you guys know, but that is a very well-known cake brand. They make um, pans and um, cake-related items. So I'm thinking, oh, yes, I want to get that because that will sell and it's vintage. So I'm like looking in there going, hmm, what else is in there? Talking to John. And um, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna open this up and see what's in here. All right, so this is what I expected. Vintage cake topper. And um, the bottom, you know, it's got a little yellowing, but it's really cool. Some people definitely want this. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, 70s-ish probably is. And I'm like, what is on the bottom? <laughs> well, <laughs> They're wedding napkins, woo! I was thrilled when I saw that. Look at this. Karen and Mike, February 12th, 1972. So that's the year of the cake topper. Isn't that cool? So there's a Karen and Mike about to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Um, I hope they're still together. I don't know, they could be divorced, they could be dead. That's so morbid, I shouldn't say that. But I'm really hoping they're still happily married. But so that's the year of the cake topper, 1972. And somebody, you know, used all their cake and they just stuck their napkins in here along with their um, cake topper. And now I have it. And um, this is just so much fun. I, if you're a reseller, you know, but if you haven't been sourcing or gone to thrift stores or any other stores to buy stuff to resell, or just to buy stuff for yourself. It's just so much fun. You know, they don't call it the thrill of the hunt for nothing. <laughs> it's definitely a thrill every time. So this was just a super fun find. Um, 
I don't know. I'm going to look it up on eBay. If it's, if the napkins are worth anything, which I don't know if they are. I mean, people do buy uh, postcards that are used. Uh, maybe somebody will want vintage napkins with Karen and Mike's name on it. Who knows? Maybe a Karen and Mike got married on the same day and they want those. I don't know. I haven't took any time to look up this stuff. Um, I probably will just end up selling those in with the cake topper. And I just thought that was a super fun item. I just wanted to show you guys that. Just had a really fun day. Hey, I'm just really psyched about all, all these wonderful things I found. And I got to get listing because I haven't done that yet today. Uh, just paid my bills and doing this video and then I got to get working on eBay. So the most important thing I want to tell you guys is be consistent. If you list two items a day, list two items a day but do that every single day if you can, or at least six days a week. Um, you know, I usually list every day, but like if we're gone all day on a Saturday and it's evening, you know, I'm just gonna hang out with my hubby. Um, in the evening, I'm not gonna go list, but if we get back early enough, yeah, I come up here and I take pictures and I, I start listing. Um, my average is five to 10. Um, it's tough for me to do more than 10 just because I have other things I do during the day. I'm sure if all I did for eight hours up in my office was list, oh yeah, I'd have 30 items listed, but um, I need to get better about that. But you know what? My sales have been pretty good. I just sold a pair of sandals, golf sandals. I listed them two days ago and I sold them the next day for 32 bucks. So, and those, John and I only paid a dollar fifty at a local thrift store called Mustard Seed, and I have filmed that before. So, yeah, I'm happy. A lot of my sales are just ten bucks, fifteen, twenty, but it all adds up, and I'm just gonna keep going, 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 because of course I always want more sales, as you should. Um, but I'm just thankful for the sales I've had. So anyway, you guys, I really, really hope. This inspired you, educated you, and I hope you're just having a killer selling day. <laughs> That's even a phrase. And um, I will see you next time. Bye.